Hey guys, in this video I'd like to take a look at Mego 1.2 running on the Nokia N9 and this is the first and the last Nokia mobile phone to run the Mego operating system. All future Nokia mobile phones will be running Windows Phone 7. Um, so as you can see the phone is currently locked at the moment and it's basically displaying the time. Um, this is what the lock screen looks like. It basically, you know, it says the time and the day and the date. And in the top left hand corner, you know, I have um, a battery, you know, that is almost full emergency calls only because my SIM card isn't inserted and um, I am connected to a Wi-Fi network. Um, with the lock screen, you cannot just unlock it by sliding like that. You actually have to um, slide it right from the edge to unlock it. Um, there are basically three main screens in Mego. Um, there is the application screen. Um, there is the open application slash multitasking screen. And there is the event screen. So it basically tells you what day it is and the date, um, the weather. Um, it's displaying my Twitter feed here. It also displays, you know, missed calls and, you know, incoming text messages. Um, it's a bit, you know, like a notification center, I suppose, um, you could say. Um, so let's um, get stuck into it and have a look at the applications. Um, we have the phone application. Um, I have no recent calls. Um, you know, we have the um, dial for the phone. Uh, and you can um, call contacts from within the phone application. So I can click on Bob Smith for contact that I made up. And I can click on mobile or home phone, etc. for each entry um, I have for the contact. Um, and to leave the application, you just swipe from the side. And to get back to the application, you go to the, you know, the multitasking um, page and you just click on the application again. Um, if you want to close the application, you hold it for a couple of seconds and the red X appears in the corner. Or if you have multiple applica applications open, you can click the close all button. Uh, we have the contacts application, which is basically the same as contacts in the phone application. Um, we have the search application, so, you know, I can search um, for Bob if I want to. Uh, we have the web browser, so, you know, I can go to one of the um, Nokia websites. Um, I'm currently connected to Wi-Fi. It does take a little while to load. Um, and, you know, I can obviously view the website in both landscape and um, portrait mode. The web browser is okay. It's not, you know, very fast. Uh, we have the Messages app. You can send text messages or you can add chat accounts. Um, you can add Skype, Google, Facebook or a SIP account. Um, and I will show you the text message um, par um, part of the app. So, you know, I can type in Bob Smith. And, you know, I can start typing in um, my message. You know, the keyboard is, um, you know, it's not bad. I can't type as fast on it as I can type on, you know, the iPhone though. Um, you know, you have a few different smileys there, which is pretty neat. Um, what else do we have? We have the mail app. I'm not going to set up email. Um, we have the calendar. Um, so, you know, you have your event view at the bottom here and you can swipe between the months and, you know, select the individual days. We have the clock application. I'm not sure what the point of this is. Um, do you have the clock and the alarms at the bottom? We have the music application, which is preloaded with some sample music. Um, you know, I quite like um, how the music application looks and feels. You know, it's quite nice. Um, we have the um, camera, you know, the camera is alright, you know, you can obviously, you know, take pictures and record videos. Um, from memory, it has an 8 megapixel camera and it can record in 720p. Um, I have taken a couple of pictures with the camera and they don't really look that good on the mobile, to be honest. Maybe they will look better on the computer afterwards, I'm not completely sure. Um, we have the gallery. Um, I took one picture um, for my contact Bob. Um, you might not be able to see the picture very well. The, the quality is not very good. It looks um, pretty grainy, which is, you know, very unfortunate. Um, we have videos. Once again, it comes with a couple of sample videos. 
um, we have maps so it's got some sort of Nokia map application I'm not really a Nokia user so I'm not you know familiar with all of these different OV applications really I personally prefer Google Maps so you have this sort of Nokia map application you know you can search for locations you can find um, you know what is nearby you can get directions from one location to another location uh, we have drive which I imagine is turn by turn navigation basically um, you know this app doesn't look too bad you have a few different views you know you have the 3D view um, 2D view you also have um, you know the satellite view um, I personally prefer the look of um, you know the 3D view and it's not 100% um, accurate um, where am I? I'm not displaying am I? Um, I'm not too worried about it though it's not 100% accurate uh, we have the um, OV music store um, so I suppose it's how Nokia users buy their music so you know some of the music you know it's not cheap a dollar forty nine for a song I'm pretty sure most of the music is cheaper in iTunes you know ninety nine cents or a dollar nineteen however some songs are two nineteen in iTunes in Australia so maybe it's not so expensive actually uh, what else do we have we have the application store um, if it wants to open the application store looks a little bit pathetic if I'm honest there aren't that many, you know, applications, you know, nothing really exciting. You know, there isn't a top free or a top paid section or not that I can see. You know, you have NFC apps. And there were only three NFC apps um, listed there. Um, you know, the Nokia N9 obviously has NFC near field communication capabilities. Uh, what else do we have? We have accounts. So it will list, you know, your Nokia account, your Twitter account, your Facebook account, etc. So, you know, we have Facebook, we have, um, you know, Twitter. Both of these applications are okay. Um, you know, they're nothing special, really. Um, we have settings. Um, I'm not going to bore you and go through all of the settings, though. You know, there are quite a few different things that you can set up and configure. Um, we have the calculator. Um, you know, which is pretty functional. No, it only works um, in one view, really. Though, you know, it's functional. It does the job, nothing special. Uh, we have documents. Uh, I don't have any documents in there. Um, we have RSS feeds. So you can add all of your different RSS um, feeds and, you know, read your news articles, etc. Um, on the go. Um, it displays pictures and text etc and it has a link at the bottom to um, open the um, web page if you want to view the um, full website. Uh, we have notes. Um, I made a couple of example notes before I upload this video, brush teeth, blah blah. Uh, we have AccuWeather, which I believe I set to my current suburb. Uh, let's just wait for this to load. So, you know, it's currently 20 degrees and it's got, you know, the weather forecast. It's got um, an hourly forecast. It's got maps um, and lifestyle, which is pretty entertaining. Barbecue forecast, fair. Dog walking forecast, fair. Fishing forecast, poor. It's pretty funny all the different things they have here. You know, migraine risk, low. Um, and what else do we have here? We have a um, user guide, which is quite nice, you know, not many mobiles have, you know, a user guide application with such detailed, you know, instructions on how to use the mobile, etc. Um, we have Wi-Fi hotspot, it's sort of got its own application, it's not buried, you know, in the settings um, menu where you can't find it, you know, you can obviously set the network name and the encryption mode, etc. It comes with an associated press application, you know, so you can check the news on the AP mobile app if you want to. Uh, there isn't a YouTube application, the icon just opens up a browser with the YouTube website really, which is, you know, pretty pathetic. 
um, we have Skype, we have Track and Protect. Um, so with Track and Protect, you can protect your phone if it is lost or stolen. You can remotely get a phone's location, um, lock it or wipe all information on it. Um, the phone will lock automatically if someone you know, tries to use a different SIM card and it will send the SIM card details and the thief's location to the server. Um, I don't have a SIM card in the mobile at the moment so I can't set it up. Uh, we have a few games here, Angry Birds, um, GOF2, I'm not sure what that is, Need for Speed Shift, Rule Golf 2011. Um, it is Angry Birds Magic, um, so it basically has NFC support. Um, I wish that this version of the game was available on the iPhone because if you can't tell the graphics are a bit different to the normal Angry Birds on the iPhone. Um, I think the graphics are a lot better and this game looks amazing on the uh, on um, the display. I don't think it's going to come across on the camera though it looks truly amazing. Um, so yeah that's pretty much it really. I'm not sure if I've missed anything. Though, you know, once again, I can close all of the current applications by holding down, whoops, close all. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I've missed anything really, though that's um, a quick look at Mego. Um, I quite like um, the operating system, though it's a shame that, you know, Nokia isn't going to continue to use it. Or they probably won't be allowed to with their, you know, partnership with Microsoft for Windows um, Phone 7. So um, that's it for this video and thanks for watching.